without any tomorrow. Okay, uh, what's up everybody? This is the game virus, also known as the G -G 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 virus, and we are back with more Let's Play Resident Evil Remake HD Edition. In last episode, we were swarmed by Crimson Heads. Yes, the Crimson Heads finally started awakening all throughout the mansion. All the bodies that we forgot to dispose of or didn't get to dispose of finally came back to life and started chasing us down. So we had a rough patch with that. We almost died, came very close, had a very tense moment, and we also did battle with the giant snake that bit and poisoned Richard earlier, where then Richard lost his life saving and protecting ours. And here we are. Um, actually, where do I need to go? I need to... Uh, Either way, uh, I'm already over here. Let me just go this way. This is a more riskier way, though. Yeah, this is a more riskier way. Let me not go that way. There's a crimson head roaming around over there, and I've had just about enough of their asses for one playthrough. But yeah, this is episode 7, part 7 of my Resident Evil Remake HD binge. Seven straight videos in a row. My throat is going raw, and it hurts. I don't, I don't usually do seven sessions of Let's Playing in a row like this, but because the game came out the 20th and I wanted to do a day one up, upload and play through of it, I'm keeping, I'm keeping it going even though it's the 21st now. It's like almost two in the morning. But uh, I'm gonna keep it going. This might be the last one because I'm getting tired. And I want to have my voice for tomorrow so I can continue. Oh, oh shit! Motherfucker, just open that door! It scared the fuck out of me, man! Finally, somebody opens the damn door! Only one other zombie was able to open the door earlier, and it's, I've been waiting for one of them to open it up since. But let me get this box over here that I totally forgot about. I was like, where's the other mask? A mysterious box. We you take the jewelry box, this will be like a simple puzzle. For I definitely remember how to do the box puzzles. It's like, come on. There's a design of the sun and the moon on the plate. It says sunshine will awaken me. There is a switch. We press the switch. Is there a sign on anything else? Nothing on this side. There must be a way to open this box. There's a switch. We press it. Yes. Press it. I think I think I might have did it out of order. Or does it matter? It doesn't matter. All right, we got our mask. There was a mask inside. Death mask. It's a death mask without eyes, nose, or mouth. So we have all four death masks. Which means we can blow this popsicle stand, at least for now. We're gonna have to come back here, but for now we can do... Uh, I cannot wait to see how luscious and luxurious the outside area is going to look once we get out there. I see I need to go this way. I am very excited to see how that's gonna look, man. It's gonna look so crispy out there. That shit might even give me the urge to continue playing. Because I'm telling you, I'm like, I was saying this is gonna be the last video I do tonight. I'm fucking... So parts one through six, just keep in mind that was a straight binge. Back to back to back to back. I don't even know, what, what, what part is this? Is this part six or seven? I don't even remember. This is part six, or maybe seven. No, this is part seven, I think. Whatever, it's all a blur now. All right, I believe I have everything I need. I don't have a single healing item on me, though. Do I need one? Better be safe than sorry. I have still yet to die, and I'm trying to keep that going. I have proof of that, too. The fact that there's a trophy for it, I can prove that I have yet to die, in case there's any doubts. There's a trophy for your first death, and I can prove... Take, uh, finish the game. 
Yeah, alpha T ain't get used to it. Die for the first time. See? Still not there. I've yet to die, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't think it's gonna happen. I know this game too well. I might forget a puzzle or where an item is here or there, but for the most part, I'm not I'm not going anywhere. I'm sorry. Believe you me, I love watching playthroughs where, <laughs> where some poor sap is dying a lot in the game. You know, those are fun. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. So after I go through this door right here, I won't be able to go through it from this side again because it'll be broken until... Well, unless somebody fixes it. Oh shit. Oh fuck! Damn it! Ah, the damn controls. Uh, he's not even. Oh, he's not even dead. Shit. <laughs> you motherfucker, you. Come get some. Get that headshot counter up. So, I tried to run away from him, and then once the camera angle turned, I tried to adjust and go up, and he, she went back into the... That's been happening throughout the whole playthrough. And it's not getting any better. What the hell am I going this way for? Well, we haven't looked over here yet. I think a dog might attack me if I look further in here. So, for that reason, I won't investigate until the time comes. We'll, we'll, we'll be in here shortly, but... I don't want to initiate the sequence where the dog comes out after me faster than I need to. But I, I, I'm still not used to the uh, the new move in all directions controls that they have implemented. It's like every time the camera, look at that, every time the camera changes. I end up going back into the previous screen. Not good. All oh, the zombies that were out here are gone. Yeah, I got the shotgun bullets over here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I don't remember getting them, though. Anything to say about these gravestones? Nothing? Nope. Nope. Well, I can't wait to go outside more into the cabin area. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, let's see what we got here. We didn't check these when we first came down here. A stone statue with a hole where the eyes should be. A stone statue with holes where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be. A stone statue with a hole where the nose should be. A stone statue with a hole where the mouth should be. Well, I know what to do here. I remember this part really freaked me out when I was a kid. This whole section right here, not in the original version whatsoever. This is completely added. Oh, the blood doesn't splash on the screen. I believe the blood splashes on the screen when you plunk down the eyes, mouth, and nose one, or the second mask that you plunk down. Interesting. They took that out. That was a nice touch. <laughs> I love how... Jill's boobs just heave as she slowly approaches the coffin. Hey there, buddy. <clears throat> Settle down there. Settle down there. Settle down there. Grave digger. Absolutely. He didn't even touch us. That's what I'm talking about. Too bad we can't headshot that guy. I love this shit. I'm gonna really enjoy this part right here. The atmosphere gets 
ratcheted up a whole lot in this part right here. There's a switch. There's something here. Will you take the stone and metal object? How'd I miss this before? Shotgun shells just sitting right here. I didn't even see that. Um, maybe they just became available when the coffin crashes down. Alright, man. I believe that guy's like the first Crimson Head ever or something. I forget. I, did I miss a file? I believe something talks about him. Maybe we find it later. Ugh, I love it. I'm gonna play the shit out of this, man. So I was looking at the trophy thing again after I finished the last video. And I came to the conclusion that the only thing that's gonna be really hard is the knife only. I don't think I've ever attempted to play this game knife only. If I did, I don't remember. But if I did, it wasn't as hard as it is now. Because they made it harder by uh, saying you can't use a defensive item, you can't stomp heads, and you can't use uh, something else. They made it a bit more difficult than the average knife run. Because in a knife run, anything goes is just use your knife only, right? But now they actually put some rules in there, so that'll make it a bit more difficult. And there goes the dog. For fuck's sake, Jill. Probably should have read that, but... Ah, oh, fuck! I fell off me! <clears throat> Motherfucker. I don't have time for your shit. Okay. Moving on. Right, they're giving us tons of shotgun bullets. Oh, yeah. Pick it up, please. Thank you. Will you take the shotgun shells? Why not? Let's c get down there, you. Oh, there's a battery right there. Assorted pots and tools or some shit. I didn't get to read it all. Battery pack. Another defensive item. Will you take the first aid spray? So, I'm gonna go this way. Because going down here will prove pointless because we'll come to a point where we can't advance and we'll have to sit there and dodge dogs unnecessarily. A selection of gardening supplies. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. Come on now, girl. Yeah, I'm thinking like when I when I get to when I play this game on my own and whenever I decide to pick this game up, I'm gonna use the tank controls. I'm sorry. Oh look at the background there! That looks so, looks so polished and beautiful and shiny back there. Like you can see what's going on back there. Oh, that's nice. That's that's gotta be something they added. I don't think you can see like the details, the architecture that you can see back there on the on the original, on the GameCube one. And I could just sit here and play around in the water on the ground here all night. I love it. I'm gonna just walk really slow. It seems to be some kind of signpost. Each direction is accompanied by a corresponding destination. North, Valley of Destruction. South, Cave of Hatred. East, Summit of Madness. West, Path of Revenge. Okay. And if my memory serves me right, I need Southwest. Shit is so beautiful. Yeah, or yeah, uh, I need to slow down. I don't want to accidentally hit the wrong ones. Going too fast, slow down. Oh, fuck. I mean, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to waste my damn time. It's not what I wanted to do. Slow down, please. Thank you. There we go. I'm confused as to how Barry got outside 
and we struggled to get outside just barely got out here we had to jump through hoops and hurdles to get out here and Barry's ass is already out here confronting shit 15 minutes in let's continue on no That looks so clean. I love how clean everything just looks so clean and shiny and pretty. So pretty. A statue with red eyes. The inscription reads, The War Cry of Revenge. A statue with blue eyes. The inscription reads, The Last Gasp of Destruction. Right on. Um, wait a minute now. Oh shit, I did. I forgot something. Well, I can get it on the way back. It's all good. I can get it on the way back. There's an item box just over yonder. Oh, this part looks so good. Oh, this thing looks like it came out yesterday. I mean, it did come out yesterday, but I mean, like, it was made this year. That's how good this age is. I mean, I've all, like I said in previous videos, I've only seen. A handful of HD remakes, and by far this one's the previous one I've seen thus far. What was that? Like Capcom really put more effort into this remake than they did the RE4 Code Veronica one. I can tell you that much. Here's hoping they do this for zero. A large statue stands silently in the darkness. And here's hoping they do this for shit. For the longest, because they hadn't done a remake for for one or zero, I figured, well, maybe they just can't HD up the pre-rendered backgrounds. Maybe it just looks too, 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 too weird. But clearly, they can do it because they did it, and it looks fantastic. So, hell, maybe we'll see a HD remaster of two and three of the original game. This looks so good though. Just take my time through here. I don't care. You guys have to deal with it. I'm soaking this in. Nice. No, she should be able to look into one of these windows. I think it's this one right here. Oh, here it goes. A faint light shines through the crack. Maybe it's a sign of life? Nothing else over here. Nothing to look at. Nothing to talk about. Let's go ahead and go in then. Hmm. This cabin reminds me of RE4. Nothing to say about anything. Wow, flames definitely look way better. This firewood looks fresh. That's bad, that's a bad sign. Upon seeing that, I would quickly leave, make my exit. A number, oh shit, hold on, hold on. A number of bandages have been hung up. Could these brown stains be blood? Maybe, it's possible. I guess I'll grab this map for the hell of it, not that we need any map. I should probably be grabbing all maps. Just so in case somebody's watching this for walkthrough purposes, they'll know where the maps are. A crude bed. It looks like no one's used it in a long time. Oh shit. A family picture. My dearest Lisa. There's a journal left by someone. 19? Daddy attached first, mom attached second, inside red and slimy, white and hard, not true mom wear. Dunno dad found mom again. When attached mommy, she moved no more, she's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Four, mom wear, I miss y'all. 
And so this whole area is added. That door I went through earlier, this whole area, that, that, that door I went through that led outside, this is all some new shit. Some very new, frightening shit. Oh, from here, you've got a good view of the entrance of the cabin. Hmm. They're trying to hint at us. Trying to hint something at us. Right there. Wow. I didn't know I had two first aid sprays on me. What's this? Will you take the crank? Why not? Crank? What kind of crank is this, sir? Oh, the end is shaped like a square. Oh, square crank. We got ourselves a square crank. Nothing to be said about this. This is a secret entrance, but we won't find that out till way, way later. Uh oh. Oh shit. And Jill is dead. Well, it looks like we're getting our first death. No matter what. Oh, 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 she's alive. When I first saw that when I was younger, I was like, fuck, what happened? What'd I do wrong? They really played you. They really fuck with the gamer right there. Oh shit! <clears throat> Watch it there. She's, you know, Lisa. This is Lisa right here. She's pretty easy to avoid, but she can't be killed. But you know, oof, she looks creepier in HD. You can see like the rendering of she has faces attached to her body, and the rendering of her of the faces on her body are way better. You could, ooh, that looks creepy. That's a huge face. Is it like stretched out or something? Excuse me. Uh, she's coming up here quick. Yeah, she looks a lot creepier. Because on the GameCube version, it's a bit more distorted. You can't really see that she has human faces on her body. Oh, she just stopped. Okay. Oh, settle down there. I'm not going to bother to shoot her because she can't be killed, but... She's not going to start running. She can start running at you, I think. I'm not mistaken. I don't know where her head is exactly, but... Yeah, alright, that's it for that. Yeah, you guys got a good long look at her right there. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. We've had our fun. And yeah, I think this will be my last... My last recording of the night. This has all been in one night so far. Shit! Oh good, he only throws up, thank goodness. There's no point in killing this guy. We're not gonna be, well we will be back here, but he's so easy to avoid. I'm only gonna try for the sake of the headshot counter. And I didn't get it. Wasted two rounds, nice. All for the headshot count. Forgot something very important. Fuck. Ah, it's all good though. I just wasted time. When I go back in there, she won't be there. So, all good. It's just I gotta waste more time. I should just probably save and leave it at that. But I think it's gonna be. I don't think I can get to the next typewriter in under 10 minutes. Because I'm at like 21 minutes right now. And I don't want to go into the 30 range. Keep things nice and tidy. But it's a little too early to cut it. No, it's not what I need. Earth the damn crest. Here we go, more crest. Yeah, I'm feeling tired. 
My body's aching from let's playing. Let's playing does a toll on your body, guys. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. I need to get more comfortable when I do this shit. You know what? Let me unequip my weapon. This will help me move a lot faster. There we go. Well, maybe not a lot faster, but a bit faster. Look at that. She's got a nice brisk, brisk jog. Yeah, she's moving. She's moving considerably faster, actually. Switch to the tank controls real quick, just so I can move through that annoying ass area. There's like so many different camera angles right there. I'm tank controlling it all right here. Oh. Go ahead. You know what? Let me take a look at this area first. There's something written in the indentation. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in the heavens. Whatever. I don't think I ever checked that, but whatever. Oh, come on! Damn! I was moving quick, too. Crests are fitted. Moon crest. Thank goodness I have enough slots, man. I'd be pissed if I didn't have enough slots. Star crest. Sun crest. Let's investigate. There's an icon depicting a star. What's this? There's a button. The base is protruded in the shape of a cross. There's an icon depicting the sun. There's a button where you press it. Absolutely. I'm beginning to detect a pattern here. Protruding lines. There's an icon depicting the moon. There's a button where you press it. There are two projecting lines. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and plunk these. Let's first examine this real quick. There's something carved into the indentation. Two vertical lines across and three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? What the fuck? Well, at least the crows aren't on my ass anymore. They let up a bit. Alright. A gun has been placed neatly inside. And boy, oh boy, what a gun it is. Silver Serpent? I've never read that before. What? Has that always been on the gun? Silver Serpent? Never heard it called that before. Will you take the Magnum Revolver? Hell yeah. Now, I'm going to go back to that cabin I was just previously at and save because I am dangerously close to 30 minutes, so for fuck's sake. Hold on, let me switch to the tank controls. Oh, 29. 29 minutes for God's sakes. see if I can hurry up and save. You know what, I'm going to just cut it here. And when I get back, I'll be in the cabin area because I don't want this thing to reach 30 minutes. And uh, you guys know the drill. If you like the video, like it. And if you want more, subscribe, and I will see you guys next video. This is the end of the binge. I'm going to sleep. I did like six or seven, I can't remember, six or seven videos straight in one night from the 20th to the 21st. I'll see you guys next video. Later.